This is the practice packet, pages eight and nine for lesson 5.6. So we're gonna go ahead and start to set up some um, proportions here. So I'm gonna circle and box and also go ahead and triangle these up. So I'm gonna make this left one to be my top and the right one to be my bottom. So I need to start with the ones that both have numbers. So I'm gonna do seven over 21 as my starting spot for both of these. I'm sorry, I have hiccups. So if I hiccup in the middle of a question, I'm really sorry here. Um, for the next one, we have three and we have the X plus eight. So I'm gonna find X first. So I'm gonna have three over X plus eight. And for the Y's then I have Y minus one over 15. I'm going to go ahead and put my expression in parentheses here. So we have 7, parentheses, x plus 8, and 3 times 21 is going to be 63. Since this is a plain number, I can just divide by 7 to get rid of that. And I have x plus 8 is equal to 9. So I'm going to subtract 8 on both sides, and I'll get x is equal to 1. Again, over here, put my expression in parentheses. Excuse me. My gosh, I drink too much water. Um, so I have 105 is equal to 21 parentheses y minus 1. Since the 105 is by itself, we're going to divide by 21. And that's going to give me 5 is equal to y minus 1. So I'm going to add 1 on both sides, and that will give me 6 equals y for this first part here. Okay, so I just found x and I found y. In number 2, the triangles are simple. Similar, we are going to actually use proportions to find the values of x and y and then actually plug that in to get the side lengths here. So looking, I have these two go together, these two go together, and these two go together. The 4 and the 9 both have the numbers. I call this one my top, this one my bottom. So I'm going to start off with 4 over 9 as the start of my proportion for each of them. The one with x is right here in my boxes, so I'm going to do 8 over x plus 5. And the y's are the circled ones, so my top is y minus 3, and my bottom is 15.75. I'm going to go ahead and put my expression in parentheses, so I have 4, and 9 times 8 is 72. Since this is a plain number, I'm going to use my shortcut. I get x plus 5 is equal to 18. I'm going to subtract away my 5 on both sides, and I get x equals 13. Over here, again, put that in parentheses. My 4 times 15.75 is going to give me 63, is equal to 9, parentheses, y minus 3. So I'm going to divide by 9 on both sides, and I get 7 equals y minus 3. Adding 3 to both sides, I get 10 is equal to y. So x is 13. So over here, I have x plus 5. So 13 plus 5, which is going to be 18. And for my y, I found out 10 was y. And I have y minus 3. So 10 minus 3, which is 7. So then down here, it asked me to find ab, which we just found out was 7. And asked me to figure out df, which is right along here which we just, by plugging in, found out was 18. Number three that we have here, one is in the same spot as the five. The y minus five is with the 15, and the x minus two is with the four x. One and five are my two plain numbers. I'm gonna call this my top, this my bottom. So I'm gonna do one over five, one over five. And for my x, I have x minus 2 over 4x. That's going to be a fun one. And for the y's, I have y minus 5 over 15. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to put that in parentheses. 1 times 4x is 4x. 5 parentheses x minus 2. Because this has the x, I do have to distribute. So 5x minus 10 equals 4x. Normally, we'd move the 4x, but it's already all by itself, so I don't want to move that one. So I'm going to move the 5x. You get negative 1x equals a negative 10. To get the x by itself, I divide through by negative 1, and that gives me x equals 10. Solving for the y over here, 15 times 1 is 15. 5 parentheses y minus 5 
Because it's a plain number, I can use that shortcut, divide by 5. So I get 3 equals y minus 5. Add the 5 to both sides, and I get 8 equals y here. So to be able to go back and plug those in, <clears throat> so I have x is 10. So 10 minus 2 is going to be 8. And x is 10, 4 times 10, which is 40. And for my y's, I have 8 is y, so 8 minus 5, which is going to give me 3 over here. So BC is right along the right side here. That's an 8. DC is right along the bottom, which we just said was a 3. And FG is right down here on the right side, which is a 40. All right. So for number four, trapezoid A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, H are similar. So we're going to find X and Y here. And then this is our last one. We're going to plug these lengths in. So we have to be careful here. A, B goes with E, F. Okay. So this side goes with this side. A, B, B, C. So I'm looking right here. B, C goes with F, G, which goes right here. So this goes with this. And the last part, I have CD, which is the last piece. The last two is going to go with GH. So CD right here goes with GH right here. So it looks like this trapezoid is just flipped. No biggie. The two that are matchy-matchy with just plain numbers, the five and the two. I'll call this my top. This will be my bottom. So I'm going to start off with that five over two for both of them so I can get them both set up and then just do all the solving. So for the x and the y, we're going to do the x first. So that's the circle is the top, x plus 3. Circle bottom is 4. And setting up for my y, it looks like I'm in the triangle. So 12.5 is the top, and the bottom is y minus 6. Put that into parentheses. I get 20 equals 2, parentheses, x plus 3. Divide through by 2. And I get 10 is equal to x plus 3. So I'm going to subtract 3. And I get 7 equals x. Over here, put that in parentheses. So I have 5 parentheses y minus 6. 2 times 12.5 is 25. I'm going to divide by 5. I get y minus 6 is equal to 5. So add 6 to both sides. And I get y equals 11 here. So 7 is my x, so 7 plus 3, which is 10. And 11 is my y, so 11 minus 6, which is going to be 5. So down here, AB is equal to 10. And GH over here is going to be equal to 5. And there you go. That's it for the practice for this one.